But uh, hello, Master. Uh, it's really great seeing you, and uh, I'm I'm so grateful that I'm here to see you today. Um, my my question is about the uh, sound meditation. Um, I've always had a lot of trouble doing the sound meditation. Uh, whenever I do the sound meditation, um, I can never, I basically can never do it for more than about 15 to 20 minutes in mm -hmm. one sitting. Yeah. And the whole time, I just a single sound that just continuously goes through. So, I was uh, I was just wondering if um, if you knew if there's anything I can do to improve my sound meditation, or if there, you have any advice. Maybe too hard. You try too hard. Hmm? Just relax, okay? Will you? Listen, uh, if you don't hear very well at home, maybe noisy or something around, you just go into the toilet. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. You know, s small uh, closure, you will hear the, no the, the sound even without having to make any effort or in the mountain, you know, when there's no noise, no cars. Sometimes I, I have different mountains that I visited, you know, for, mm. for retreat, for myself, personal use. It's very simple. There's no luxury things there, you know. Some don't have electricity, have no water, no phone, no internet, nada. And as soon as I enter the, the, the small little forest path, you know, it's about this small, as soon as I enter from the main road, as soon as I turn, oh, wow, <laughs> the sound was so, so loud. It, it's almost, almost uh, you know, make me drop to the ground. Yeah, that's why sometimes I go with umbrella, because the sound is very strong. Pull you up, yeah, really. But uh, it's the same sound. Just when I'm in the car or in the city, it's less, you see, less intense when over there. Wow, immediately. So maybe you should go in a um, so small closet or something. Okay. Because then you can differentiate better the, the different sounds inside. But even if you don't, don't worry. Okay, I do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Master.